What are you gonna make out of that? Sorry everyone, before today's video starts, I thought I'd just give a quick shout out to our Patreon account. We have a Patreon and there's several tiers on there, £2, £5 and £8 and £18. The £2 one you get 24 hour early access to our videos, £5 you get 48 hours and exclusive content, £8 and £18 you'll get instant access to my videos, this means as soon as I edit them and upload them, which can be two weeks in advance, you'll get them straight away. You'll also get exclusive content on both these and with a diamond here you can have a video call with us and you can even meet us and have a private tour now about Olive. Thank you so much to all the patrons, I really do appreciate all your continued support and thank you to the people who buy us coffees, I really do appreciate it. Well, <coughs> welcome back everybody. Yeah, we've all been ill. The channel, uh, yeah it is a week, exactly a week later isn't it, since we did it last vlog. Yeah, with um... Kath and Shane mm. and a lovely cruise, but we're exactly the same as we were a week ago. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Check we have coal on that river. <coughs> um, let's just start <coughs> from the beginning, right? So I was coming down with that flu, wasn't I? Uh -oh. and it just got worse and worse and worse over the weekend till I was bed bound and oh. I was just falling in and out of consciousness. Like, oh, you know, I, couldn't, no. I couldn't concentrate on anything. Um, and then, a couple of days later, guess who got it? Yeah, I've got it. Mm. I get it really bad. So I'm... He's suffering. I've had it for a week now, so I'm almost over it. Dad's still got it a little bit as well. It's a long one. Yeah, I just got phlegm and everything. Uh, trouble is, it goes down on my chest, so I end up with a chest infection. And then feeling really, really, really rough. Mm. So, and I don't... I, it's funny, because I'm not very often ill, as you know. And, yeah, when I get this, it knocks me for six, really. But we had all intentions. Um, no, 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 we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, oh. But we're all just trying to get better, really. Yeah. Uh, um, and then, of course, over the weekend, it was fairly all right, the weather. There was a bit of rain here and there. And the river levels were actually dropping. And we were still waiting. Well, funny enough, Gloucester, where we want to go, went on green. Oh, uh, yellow and then green. Yeah. But still, Upton and <coughs> Biglas were still on red. Until we had to get through. So, we were just waiting for them. The whole rest of the river was on yellow and green. Uh, but those two that we need to get through, we can because they were still on red. So anyway, set the forecast. Please, going to be some set of weather for at least you know, <coughs> a couple of days. More than one day. <coughs> um, but no, it's just going to stay unsettled. And... <laughs> That is when, Monday, I said uh, to Dad, why don't we, because I know there's some rain coming in, loads of rain coming in, and I know that we're not going to be able to make it down to Gloucester. Uh, so I said, why don't we go on to the Droit Ridge Barge Canal. Oh my God, the cat is right on the camera now. Getting his. Come on. Yeah, I said, why don't we go on the Droit Ridge Barge Canal and do a ring, kill the fire. <coughs> but... Um, then I decided to go on the river, and turns out you have to book the locks in. Oh, the trouble is, up to the thirty first of thirty first of March, and it's the twenty eighth today. Yeah. Uh, it's not open Tuesday and Wednesdays, so if yeah, it was that's open not yesterday, just a problem. no, uh -oh. it's Monday we would have gone. Yeah, but we couldn't because you have to book the locks in the yeah, winter. Yeah, you have to give the book locks in the winter. Give twenty four hours yeah. notice. So then so. we couldn't go. Okay, so. Tuesday comes, the rivers close Tuesday and Wednesday because you, you can't go on there, the, the CRT aren't there, that's the two days they have off, right? So then we book it Tuesday, no, we book it Wednesday for Thursday, but then, we, and then yesterday we go on the river in preparation and get some water because it's quite low now, it's, you know, it's on yellow and it's quite calm. may look like it's on red but it actually is on yellow believe me doesn't mean to say though that the current is going to be any less strong that 
that's the weir down there and you do not want to go down that channel but down this channel there's no current because this is a cutting for the lock so we should be safe down here It was quite funny because when we got here the water points weren't actually working so we called out the guy who was going to take us through Bevere Lock the next day and he was in the area so he came and fixed it for us, thankfully. There's a spider in there. Better run for a minute. But in the evening that is when the rain started and it did not stop. And so, then, uh, we sat by um, Large Douglas Lot, filled yeah, up with water. Yeah, me and Dad went shopping. Uh, did probably about, about, God's sake, seven, about seven foot to the towpath, so we're down. Yeah, on yeah, it's way down. Uh, way down. <coughs> and then we wake up. Wake up this morning, and we're right up, seven foot, and the, the guy... Road, seven foot overnight. Yeah, the guy... It rained uh, all CRT, night. Came and said, sorry, you're not going through Bevere Lock or whatever it's called. I said, oh, oh yeah, we knew that. Yeah. You, you can't make it up. You just, you cannot make this stuff <laughs> up that we have to go through. Oh. Like, literally, if it was yesterday, we would have been fine. But yeah. because the CRT have Tuesday and Wednesday off, we, oh, God. So we had to come, come back, back, back into this bottom lock. So me and Mum walked down this morning to see <sighs> if there was enough clearance, because there's a swing bridge, isn't there? Yeah, a swing bridge, <laughs> So I, I climbed down a ladder and my feet are almost on the water and I, my head's not underneath, my head's underneath the bridge and I was like, you know, there's at least six foot of clearance here, but <laughs> I don't know what happened. We went out there and <coughs> Olive has got underneath Froggle which is five foot six in its highest spot. Yeah, I don't know. No. I reckon the river now actually rose while we, me and Dad were turning around Maybe. and walking back. Yeah, but as that, going, as Andy came in, he Nothing said, "Oh, don't think we're going to get through. We, didn't, we couldn't get yeah. through." And we swore we'd never do it again. We swore we'd never return back to a red board after three years ago when we were on the. Thames on Red Bulls when we first got the boat. That was an experience in itself, and uh, I can tell you now that the Red Bull Thames was a lot worse than the Seven. We could actually push against this fairly well. It wasn't too bad, but some points on the Thames, when we went past islands and through arch bridges, we could barely even bloody move. But we had to take our opportunity to get off the river, because if we had much more rain, we could be stuck on the river for weeks. We're gonna make it under there. Okay. Okay. It is, darling. So it's a bit seized, I think. Oh, could you, sweetheart? That'd be great. I shop it quite regular. Well, we we'll tried to go on to the. Um... Thanks, darling. It just... Well, waterway, please. Yeah, yeah. I thought I'd just ask. The river's pushing you back round again, like I know. What? Yeah. The uh, light got pushed down and... Even, it was uh, that low, even the, if you had nothing on the roof, the hatch would have got wedged going through. That's how low it was. Well, we didn't think we could do the swing bridge because there's a there's a big lock on it and um, a, li a chain both sides, but luckily it's the owl lock, so it's a British waterway key. Yeah. 
you can do and then there's a little nut and a screw from the other side but <coughs> the traffic foot traffic were a bit, what was that here? <coughs> this is like a permanent structure this never moves so they were a bit combuffled because yeah. they didn't know what to do with themselves <coughs> but lovely guy lovely guy they don't want to wait, wait. wait did they they don't want to no, wait. wait lovely guy walking his dog um, oh. helped us push it. it needed three of us to push it open didn't it yeah we've got a cameraman at the moment <laughs> trying to bite the camera yeah, Play with the camera. Move, um, yeah, so Street. yeah, he helped us through, and we pushed against the red boards. Yeah, we, the red boards. So we, we we returned to red boards on the river again. So it's just oh, we, we, we never saw that. will stay on the river on a floating pontoon, which yeah, I don't yeah. fancy much. And the river level will keep rising and rising and rising until <coughs> until maybe it, it could go up above the road again, which is, it does multiple <coughs> times a year. And we really can't take that chance. And it's not risky. It's we were going to stay. We, yeah, we got back in that basin down there. We we're going to stay there. But then I realised the water level is literally like two foot <laughs> below the river. Well, not even. It's it's about the same. No, so it's not quite so. Yeah. Not almost, on it? Yeah. So it's almost a floodlock, really. We didn't even have to hardly yeah. even fill it up because it was that high. So then I said, if this river rises anymore, this is not going to be safe. This little basin here, which that does flood down there. So we decided that we're going to head back up the flight that we came down in the last vlog, oh. um, which is convenient because the other day uh, a boat sunk in one of the locks up there, and it's that boat that was behind us at the top of Tidy Big Flight, the red one with the the, the windows, and. Someone talked about that this morning as they walked past the boat. There was a couple of people talking really? about the sunken boat. Yeah. yeah, well, I think it's been cleared now by the CRT. He got caught. The bottom of his base plate got caught on something. <laughs> and oh. <coughs> that, that caused the boat to sink. Um, it's just weird. But anyway, I think he's been cleared. We'll probably see him up there somewhere. Um, oh. But that was causing some congestion for the higher boats. And... Uh, yeah, we're probably going to head back up today and probably just go down uh, the Joint Ridge Barge Canal and kill some time because it's going to be a long time before that river is off a flood again, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I think so. At least uh, probably, probably a month. Yeah, hanging uh, around for a long time. I think time. last year we got on to the Neen in May and that was just after um, it had actually finally gone down because we were passing loads of boats saying, oh, we've been stuck here for weeks and months. Yeah. Uh, and that was in May, so I think we're going to get another one of those, because it's just... It's there's no winter. Yeah, there's no sign of the rain stopping. The, the ground's so saturated, it's <coughs> not any rain, it just runs straight off. So, so this is the, the trouble with doing rivers. <coughs> um, and even if I went back up Birmingham, Worcester, and down the Oxford Canal, I couldn't, I couldn't get on the Thames, or even do the River Trailwell sections. So, you know, that's why I'm not going to do that. I just have to wait around here. Yeah, we, we want, we're set on going to the Gloucester and Sharpness, so we're yeah, going to go there. We skipped out on the Gloucester and Sharpness and Avon last time. Yeah. So we don't want to do it again, no. even though it's probably going to be like June or July or something before we even get on there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but we, it don't really matter, I suppose, but, you know, we wanted to get down south mm. as much as we could. Yeah. Didn't we? It, yeah, we're way behind our schedule now, and things are getting pushed back even yeah. further to the point where it might even be like October by the time we're on the basin so gonna, which you don't want to do because then the River Sevens, uh, Thames are going off. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the plan today is <coughs> head back up the flight and uh, mooring Tipperton. Tipperton? Tipperton. Yeah. Mooring Tipperton, which is uh, number 14 locks. I've got to do on my own this time. Because uh, <coughs> mum's gonna <coughs> drop the van here, aren't you? Yeah, I'm gonna. And take you're too ill to do any locks. Yeah, I'm not very well at all. My dad could do them, and I could do the boat, I suppose. Yeah, but then how are we gonna get the van? Yeah, I know. We'll get the van. Yeah, we? but it's the cold weather, darling. Coffee. Yeah, and... that's the trouble. I go. I'm all right when I'm in one temperature, and I go out to a different temperature. Just in the van. Yeah, you can have. It. You can have the engine <laughs> running and the the heater on. 
As you can see, this is the canal network, and everything in red is everything we've cruised. So today we're here on the Birmingham Worcester Canal again, of course, which we will be for a while. And we're going to be heading back up the Birmingham Worcester, through Worcester, and up a few locks before we make it to the Offerton Flight of Six, up the Offerton Flight, past Tiberton, and just to the hamlet of Oddingley. Yeah, unfortunately, we were too ill to actually you know, and go and explore lovely Worcester while we were there, which is really annoying because we didn't get to see it last time. And I still haven't seen the bloody cathedral, but yeah, we were just far too ill to do anything. And two days after I was ill, mum became ill. Like, it just wasn't a standard cold, it was like a proper flu, and I was having fevers, and I was sweating, and I was shivering. And uh, this, of course, is the sunken boat. It has now been refloated, and but God knows what damage it's done to the interior. And from what I saw when it was that tall, tiny bag, I think it was fitting out anyway. So thankfully, it hasn't completely fitted out, and then this has happened. with the brambles.
about halfway lock wise um, on seven locks we've got seven more to do it's like winter <laughs> it's nearly April it's like bloody winter <laughs> this is not as bad as when it snowed in April but it probably will be it's just cold in uh, Devon caught uh, Malakot Cross there was uh, loads and loads of snow last night there so it was like a winter wonderland um, but yeah, it's actually stopped raining, which is good for the moment. It is showers today, but loads. It's more showers than there are sunshine. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, we're halfway, making our way through the industrial state now, uh, Worcester. And uh, yeah, the locks on our side, which is a good thing, at least. Um, saw that refloated barge. He's been we floated, uh, luckily. At least that one in the way. See how he did to get on that and get that done. Imagine that. It's like always. <laughs> yeah. That's we were. Really we were over the weekend. With that, or, with that boat uh, sunken and the river on red. Uh, at least we've escaped the river. Oh, train. When I got to the next flight, I was surprised to see that it was completely against us to not get open. But then I remembered that these locks don't have any side wheels, do they? So the water flows in through the top of the chamber and goes through it, fills it up and then goes out the other side. So all these locks will be against us because they automatically fill themselves up, which is just a strange design. Even though it was about three quarters of a mile to the next lock, I still thought it would have been more efficient if I walked to the next lock and emptied it first. So that could go straight in. He really must want to get through those locks.
and just like that we're back at the top of the flight with our tail in between our legs our failed attempt to actually make it onto the Gloucester and Sharpness Canal Jesus, it's weather. Oh, look, it's nice now. The sun's out. <laughs> we literally just moored up in the in the school. And now I just heard you beat the horn. And now it's, it's, nice. and now it's yeah, that cloud was over us, and it was well windy. Oh, we have his gloves as well. It's put them in Soaking the water. wet. That's how bad the weather's oh. been. But at least we're through it. I've got the help, heating on, guys. Did help Josh towards the end. <sighs> I had to get off the boat, do the, put the, open the gate, put the paddles down. Then he had to drive out. Then he had to walk back down, shut the gate, yeah. walk back up. God, it's a fiddly job. Anyway, hello. We're, we're moored up. Um, and the sun's come out now. We've moored up. Just to let you know. <laughs> Second we moored up in that horrible spring. <coughs> It's so windy and oh, raining. Oh. Oh, it's like winter. <laughs> well, it it is, well, it is still winter. Yeah. But no, no snow in Devon last all. night. Yeah. Where we used to live. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, Amy had snow last night. Um, we just had sleep. But yeah, the sun's come out now. We stopped brewing. Mm. Now we're soaked and drenched. Um, but we've made it to. What is this little place called? Tip Tipperton. Tipperton. Tib Tibberton. That's a nice track. Like Tibberton, right? but without the V. No, it's Tib. Yeah, T -I double B E R Ton. And all the way along this canal, there's loads of um, mistletoe growing in the fruit trees along here, which is quite interesting. To yeah, so we're um, we're here just having a hot chocolate, warm myself up. We've got the heating on. Can't put the fire on because Andy's put the coal away now. You can't put the fire on. But I've got Thought the that was the on. end of it. I think we're going to put <laughs> the oven on later and do a pizza. <laughs> I'm going to um, do something different for Diane. And Josh is going to do tag game telly on Monday for me. The van is parked just on the bridge there. It's quite close actually, but yeah, the railway is right there. Yes, again. Yeah. Can't get away from it. <laughs> nice countryside spot and then there's bloody railway line there. The next spot though has got um, really good maybe. parking and... Well, I mean like, it's off the road and all that, but... Mm. It's not that close. Well, it is close. We're trying to get as close as we can. Um, we we'll probably—I don't know when we we'll stay. Where how long we we'll stay? Depends what the train's like tonight. Um, yeah, I'll let I'll let you know. 
I'm gonna sleep all right tonight. Yeah. <coughs> we might just head out a couple of miles because Dad will be going and uh, he's going to take it to the garage. Oh. I think we forgot to mention all that, didn't we? Oh yeah, we forgot to mention that it's repairable, yeah. the van. Which is good news in some ways because we spent like working it out, buying the van, the welding, all the money we spent, like probably about six grand on the van. And the trouble is if they write it off, so, the van is less becomes less money because it's a category C or category yeah. S. So which is good news really Plus, but you have then, to re MOT it as well. If they write it off, you have to re it to make sure it's safe for the well, road. That's not an issue anyway now. No, right? it's not. Because that's all gone. They're going to repair it. Uh, I think the thing is, it's quite low mileage. It's only 85,000 miles and it's only 20 years old. So it's quite low mileage for the van, really. Moving around the engine, though, is falling apart. Yeah, but... Um, so we're going to... The only downfall is we've got to pay access. <laughs> Woo! So we've got to find that from somewhere and get that done. But then there's a couple of bits on the MOT. Now we're going to keep it. And it's a good in some ways because Josh has put on so Josh and Andy have put on so much work on it, getting it all up together. And, and it was real good. It. Apart That's from true. getting stuck in the new forest, it was really good fun. We really mm. enjoyed it. And we can park that by the sea, that parking spot right on the beach. That was lovely, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah enjoyed that. And hopefully. Weather. We've got to kill some time now. Hopefully it's... the weather's going to be a lot nicer. What's going on with this? Is it? No. Indy's wide awake because they've all been asleep. The cats on that entire tree of that cruise. They've all been fast asleep. Well, hopefully it's we're so they... humid in here. Everything's fogging up. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to dry washing, guys. So mm. the radiators are on, so I'm going to be uh, washing. It's going to go a bit steamed up. I'm yeah. Afraid. Well, we're heading obviously back this way now. We're going to go along here till. Drakewich Junction and then go down Drakewich Barge Canal which um, kills some more time <laughs> and then hopefully by the time we get down the Drakewich Barge Canal to the River Severn again maybe it will be on yellow or it's green. Cool. But I, I and the locks are open every day then aren't they? Yeah. Even Sundays? Yeah. Yeah oh. from Monday like from the 31st which is a couple of days time uh, you, you don't gone, have to book or anything. If you could have gone on the Tuesday or the Wednesday, we'd have made it through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the days they're shut. But well, that's the days they're, shut, they're shut in the winter. So they've got overnight rain, Wednesday night, Thursday, oh, yeah. we couldn't do anything. Yeah. Um, I've never seen a river rise that far. That was yeah. immense, wasn't it? Yeah. We're lucky yeah. to go that <clears throat> I just couldn't believe it when I looked out this morning. I thought, well, that shelf there was about seven foot down mm. <laughs> yesterday. Crazy. But yeah, we're just gonna have to kill some time, take it slow, maybe cruise once a week. Um, yeah, well, if we get the van sorted, we can go off for a few days in the van. Yeah, we can get the van sorted out, um, repaired, and then, then we'll it's take him we'll long, away. Only, only a couple of days. Once he's got all the parts laid out there, he, it's just a matter of unbolting and bolting back on, you know? Mm. So it shouldn't take him long. He likes to get um, the jobs done as soon as he can. It, hope you all enjoyed like subscribe and we'll see you in the next one oh. in the, in the, uh, <laughs> i thought i spilled a drink not got that in yeah. see you later yeah. Yeah. that was so weird